Welcome to the Aramco Powered by House Studio. I am very excited to have guest Seb Carmichael Brown on Instagram, Seb C Brown 4. Have you I got that it. right? That is bang on. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. I can't remember the rest of what I've got to say <laughs> now. but <laughs> We'll work it. We'll figure it out. Now, Seb, you are playing as a champ ham this week. How's it been so far? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, it's so, so cool to, like, be in the tournament as such, you know. Played in some big pro-ams, including this one before, and that's amazing to play alongside the pros. But when you're actually part of the team, and, you know, they're always great fun. They always help you out. They always care about your score. But, you know, in a pro and this is like, there's a big prize fund on the line for the team event. So to be in it is like another different feeling. Despite the weather yesterday, it was amazing. So we thought you're not only champ -am this week, you're also club champion at your home course, Centurion, in 2022. Yes, yeah, a couple of years ago now, I was somehow managed to, to sneak it over the line here, which is great. So, um, yeah, I do sort of know my way around it, but it's amazing to see like the pros play it properly and see them take on some of the shots that I'm scared about. Um, so it's a, it a real good experience to not just see them play my home golf course, but being right next to them, on the green with them. It was amazing. So we thought, what? no one else we want to ask but yourself. Oh, God. The 12th hole at Centurion. Oh, yes. We're going to ask you now. OK, my favourite hole, this. Is this your favourite hole? This is my favourite hole. So it's a 404-yard par four. Yep. It is very windy, as it you can is. tell. It is. Today is very windy. And the wind normally prevailing straight into. Yes. So let's run through it. Talk to us about okay. the tee shot. Right, so the tee shot is sort of a dog leg to the right. The really key thing on the tee shot is the fairway moves to the left, which you don't really see from the tee. And about here, there's a little bit of bank that all bounces in towards this sort of, it is actually a red staked area. So you actually have to hit your tee shot way more left than you think if it's the back tees. The big hitters can sort of get one right over here and try and get it towards a bit of a flat area. What we can't see, however, on this uh, screen is just how severe this is in here. This is running all the way downhill, which means if you get it to the top, you can get it running down there. But if it's firm and dry and the, the wind switches on you, the big hitters can bounce in here and go straight into this water. I've seen it happen loads and loads of times. Yesterday, Flick, Flick's ball could easily have got down into there, who I was playing with. Uh, I was tucked under this tree here. <laughs> I did land about here and bounce right, but I did find it, so I was alive. The reason it's my favourite hole is standing anywhere here, looking down, as we'll see in a minute, I'm just a sucker for a, like a vista. And you stand there, and the, it, the fairway runs away from you. You've got the water, you've got the bank behind, the heather, a nice skyline, and it just looks amazing. It's slightly less amazing when you've got 200 in into the wind into there, <laughs> and say. you've got three wood in your hand, let me tell you. But you have to enjoy the view before you then have to take your medicine sometimes. Seb, I want to get out there and play that Such after that description. Such a great hole. It's my favourite. It's really hard, though. So a lot of the players this week, will they be hitting driver, or do you think three wood? Um, I think some of them probably should hit three wood, especially the big hitters like Anne Van Dam. She probably should be quite careful if it's downwind as well. I, when I was down there, I saw a few balls that had dr drifted into the water there, so there had been a few people dropping. So you've got to be careful, but you don't want to risk leaving it back up here. You really don't. You, if, you, if you're going to leave it back up here and it's into the wind, it's going to be a really treacherous shot. And if the pin's at the front, like it was yesterday, the green as well all slopes towards you. So that's why I like good holes, is they look good, you need a good tee shot, then you still need to come up with the goods on the second shot, and even the green is tricky, so there's lots of constant tests. Sometimes you find a long hole can just be overpowered by one big drive. This one can't. So talking of second shot. Look at that. Now, Look at it. what you can't see on this aerial view is you're left with a shot off a side slope, yep. which de-lofts the club head. Yes. But you also have to hit it over the water, and it could be in twin. So you've got a lot of elements that are making this a very tough shot. How did you play that yesterday? So yesterday, I was under this tree here uh, in this corner. Do you want to uh, show us? Yeah, so I was about <laughs> here. <laughs> I was alive, it was on a slope, it stopped about five, ten yards from sort of the, the boundary, which was very fortunate. Yeah. I think I landed about here and it all kicks in, which is what makes it harder. I hope I haven't just fast forwarded that. No, you're um, good. So basically, the pin was here, I was underneath some overhanging branches, and I had to basically punch it out, and I landed about there. Now, professionals talk a lot in golf about the miss around the green. Yeah. What would you say is the miss into this green? The miss is right here. The miss is right there because uh, to most of the pins, you've got a bit of green to work with. You're chipping back up and across the hill. This is not a great miss, this back bunker, because you're hitting off the down slope and the pin, anywhere across this ridge here, it runs severely down towards the water. I've seen people putt from here and putt it into the water. <laughs> and they have shaved these banks quite significantly. So it does, if it gets there, there's nothing stopping it. I can't wait to play this hole again, Seb. Yeah, I th I'd like to say me too. I'm trying to think what the wind's doing today. It could be banging to win today, so it could be very, very tricky. Now, this whole stroke average was 4.45, so it's playing over par. Yeah. We only yielded 10 birdies. Yeah. Now, a birdie tells me 
Birdie, I've, birdie, I've birdie. Those, one birdies. You were one of those birdies. One of those birdies, yeah. Can you talk us through the chip shot you played? Yeah, blind luck, blind luck. <laughs> I mean, basically, I was here, the pin was here. There's a ridge in the middle of the green. I just had to chip it and bounce it. Landed on the green and it rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled. Went straight in the hole. So it was a special moment for me on my favourite hole. Um, I don't know what it is. It is a tough hole. For me, golf's so much about visuals and you feel comfortable. I actually don't hit a fade. I like to hit a draw. So uh, for this tee shot for me, I have to get aggressive with the right-hand side and try and bring it back in here. But just something about it. I get good vibes on this hole. Special things happen. What can I say? So we need, like any good golfer, a great tee shot, but it yep. has to be tactical with yardage. Yep. And then also picking the right place and knowing where your miss is into that green. Definitely. Can we see you hit a shot? I knew you were going to ask that. Yep, no problem, no problem. High block, I've got that in the locker. <laughs> the wind's off the left today as well, so I definitely do not want to block this right. You going with driver? I'm definitely going with driver. Oh, thank you, Caddy. Oh, Appreciate Caddy. that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is like, I'll try and draw it, but I can't see it drawing in this wind. But I'll, I'm just going to try and hit it, hold that line, right edge of the fairway if I can, coming back a little bit. That is okay. perfect. I, I would take that all day long. I'll Kay. take this. Oh, we got a little bit of a push fade, but we can you know, just take the bank and it'll just creep on down to the water, I think. What the viewers at home can't see it is blowing a gale about 40 miles per hour off the left. So that is a very strong ball flight you've just taken. I'm happy with that. I'm very pleased with that. Tried to draw, just held it sort of straight. So yeah, we're now, dry. Not only in my caddy, Seb, but always in the Aramco powered by How Studio, we finish with a how. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. How. Do you recommend for the viewers at home they get better at golf? Mm, right. If I'm assuming that people are uh, shooting somewhere between sort of 1,910, I always say to people that like, if you were thinking about your golf game like you think about a business and you were trying to put time and effort and resource into getting better, like it's only 18 tee shots, right? So the vast majority of shots people hit are around the green. So I think everybody should spend 80 to 90% of their time practicing short game. 30 yards, 50 yards and inwards, find a way to get games, make that fun. And I think it's absolutely like the hack of golf. How much better a 22, 18 handicapper can get lower scores, like with the minimal amount of effort. If they just do that, instead of just playing, 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 bombing drives, playing, 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 bombing drives. Like you don't need that many drivers. There's sometimes, what, four par threes? That's maximum of 14 drives you're gonna hit out of 100 shots. That's 14% when we spend 100% of our practice time, right? <laughs> Quick maths there, I know, I'm impressed myself. I can't, I but yeah, can't that's, believe it. That, that's what I think. Short game, short game, short game, putting, putting, putting. I love it, it helped me, and I think it can help a lot of other people. That's why you chipped on on 12 yesterday at Centurion. Got lucky on that one, but yes, correct. <laughs> I need my 50 you. degree now actually to go and finish off this one, see if I can make another three. Thank you so much, Seb. That's an extremely useful tip. I would shake your hand, but no, I'm caddy good. and all good. Play well the rest of the weekend. I will try, thank you very much. Thank you.